Hello everyone, my name is Janko and welcome to another video. So guys, today we're doing the Celtic review against Motherwell. Which funny Celtic 2, Motherwell 1. A lot of talking points from the game. First of all, we'll talk about the red card. I want to get the big issue out of the way, first of all. So, a lot of people have mixed, mixed opinions, mixed views on what the decision should have been and in my eyes it's a red as as much as I didn't want Carl McGregor to miss any action at all he will miss the game against St Johnson but he's available for Leipzig which is very very good for us but I think that will give us the option to play Abelgaard or McCarthy it's at um, holding the field and allow, of course, O'Reilly and Hatate to play as well. So we, we still do have a lot of options. We've got a big, big squad. But the fact McGregor isn't an aggressive player, but he did exactly what he had to do. Mallow had a big goal scoring opportunity with, minute, with only a minute to go and could have snatched a point, and McGregor got us all three points, basically. And that's, that's what he did. But there were so, so many chances. So many chances we could have took away, we hit the bar, we hit the post, uh, the Liam Kelly made a, a good few saves, Kyogo missed a few sitters, there was so so many chances and it's really really disappointing that we can't put some of these efforts away, but you know that's, li that's life, that's the way football works, you, uh, you get chances, some of you bury, some you don't, it's just your luck at the end of the day. And unfortunately, it just wasn't Kyogo's day for for a lot of chances. He did get a goal, which was which was great for him. Uh, it's a striker's dream the ball to fall right in a little goal into Barry home. So if you're Kyogo, you got your job done. Get a three points. We got the win. We're still top of the league, and that's that's what mattered to us. Look, we we everybody loves to be entertained watching football. At the end of the day, all you want is that three points, and that's all that ever gets remembered is those three points that you won. And using an example, looking back at when we beat Barcelona, Barcelona absolutely dominated the game, but we won, and that's all that people care about is, oh, it doesn't matter if we've been not, we won, we had a bad game, but we still won. So that was that was the most important thing against Mullo. No. I'll discredit to Mullow, they, they played really well, really well, they had a lot of big chances. They, the only goal they got right enough was on goal, but I know for a fact that any player through on goal, any striker, it's a, no, it's a goal scoring opportunity. Whether they, they score it or not is a different story, but it still, still sticks with the same concept. But I can't complain, I'm a happy man, we won, we got the points that we needed, we moved on. Now it's on to Leipzig, away, a very, very difficult game. Uh, any away game is difficult. <laughs> so, we're looking at that, and we'll keep moving forward, we'll keep on working hard. Then it returns on sa uh, Saturday, away from home to St Johnston. And McDermott Park is a tough, tough place to go, but I'm confident that we can we can get a three points there as well. Hopefully, hopefully we play our bold guard. I, I, want, I really want to see him playing. I want to see the big man get game time, see what he's all about, see if he's as good as, as what we've what we've seen. But see, if anybody's seen the training session, you know, he's a big, big player, he's very tall, he's meant to be very calm with the ball at his feet, very good at possession. He's not meant to be the fastest, but he is meant to run pretty quickly for a for a tall player. I think he's around about somebody said he's six six three or six four. So he's very, very tall for a holding midfielder. So I'm ho I'm really really hoping we plays. I want Jota to play. I want Abada to play out in the wing. I want Kyogo through the middle. And if things aren't working, if we need physicality, big Giacomakis, big double G up front. So we we have got a lot of options. But I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the game. Quarter to six kick off for us on Wednesday night which is great that we're actually getting an early kick off. I mean, I'm back shift anyway, but I'm off on Wednesday. So it doesn't really bother me. I don't start till half two in the afternoon. So it doesn't bother me with the later kickoffs when I'm back shift as long as I'm off for the game. 
I'll see you guys Wednesday, but it might be Thursday that you just get the video. It just depends, really. But it'll probably be like Thursday morning, maybe afternoon. But I hope that you guys all enjoy the content that we're doing. There's plenty more to come, plenty more reviews throughout the season. Uh, we'll be going to a lot of games as well, so look forward to that. And maybe an Arsenal vlog. When, well, not vlog, but like footage from the Arsenal tour that I'll be doing in November. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday or Thursday for a review of Leipzig Away. See you later, guys.